Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I am super excited to show you episode one of this brand new series that I put together. This is of course a mod pack with the birds in the background here, but this is Farmcraft, a mod pack that I put together that has pretty much all kinds of farming mods that you could ever think of. There's biomes, special biomes, there's fruit trees, there's all kinds of vegetables and new crops. There's all kinds of new animals and fish, fishing rods, even some kind of ores and armor and tools, just everything you could imagine to be the ultimate farmer. And I call this farm craft because my only goal, literally my only goal is to make the biggest and best farm I can possibly make. And it sounds a little funny, but that's literally what I will be doing in this series is just making the best and biggest farm that you could ever imagine with all kinds of crops, animals and fruit and all kinds of stuff. So I showed you a little bit of the intro here. I've just made full stone tools essentially and looked at some of the new things. I come across a leopard here and I was not about to mess with him if you see all of his hearts. Goose, on the other hand, I will take for some free meat. I'm super excited about this series. I put it all together on my own. This is 1.16.5, so not the brand newest version, but pretty close. And I will have a mods list in the description for anyone who's curious. You can see a bee from Resourceful Bees right here and actually gives me hunger. I was getting pretty hungry and I needed that coal to smelt some goose up from earlier. So I made a furnace here and put the coal in with the goose and decided to mine out the rest of the coal. I decided I would do a lot of mining today as you'll see later in the episode because I just wanted to get started so I wouldn't have to mine again. My whole goal, like I told you before, is just to do the most amount of farming possible. Something I thought was funny here is a banana tree and a, and a spider came out of it. I, it almost killed me honestly and I kept like slipping around and so of course I had this slipping potion effect on me. So I took to the ocean and tried to find better land. My goal here was to find either like a plains or a village, just something that would be easy to make tons and tons of farmland after. So I got a blueberry achievement here and then also found a ruined nether portal. There was actually quite a bit of good tools in here, but as I was looting it, I was getting shot by the skeleton. So I pretty much had to run before I died. There's lots of cool biomes. Biomes of Plenty is in this mod pack. Love that mod. Lots of cool biomes and plants and everything. And eventually I came across not only a village, but a plains village. So I was set for where my new home was gonna be. It was love at first sight. So I placed on my crafting table and furnace and even made like an obsidian totem that will be here until the end of time saying that this is home sweet home. So I needed to put all this junk away. So I've made some chests and emptied it all into there. It was time to get some wood. So of course I teamed trees here with Mr. Beast and planted a ton of saplings down. And I stole this villager's bed. Not only did I steal his bed, but I kept going around the whole village and stealing everything that they owned because rightfully this village was about to be mine and I was about to rule this kingdom. So after that power trip there, I made a stone hoe and grabbed as many hay bales as I could from the village. And I just wanted to show you, there are four, almost five pages of seeds right here. Like that's insane. This farm is gonna be crazy. So I do the classic infinite water pool here, a two by two formation, and I grab as many seeds as I could find and started laying down my first piece of farmland. See, I don't know if this is perfect, but uh, I'm really excited to put down as many farmland as I can. And I'll actually put an image on the screen right now of what I want the farm to somewhat look like. It was an inspiration I saw on Instagram. So after that, I was tired of farming and needed a nap. So I went to bed for the night. The next day I did some major wood cutting just to get some good loggage for my future. So I did that and then grabbed some blueberries as well in this blueberry bush. And right next to it was a tortoise. I picked up the tortoise and it was actually a leopard tortoise. I put him on my crafting table just as a little buddy. Next, I placed down the blueberry bushes and ate some blueberries. And it was time to go mining. Like I said, I needed to do quite a bit of mining just to get past 
the initial boring phase. My goal is just to get a good amount of iron and just some coal and other things. Here you can see I grabbed some niter. The thermal series mods are in this, which is pretty exciting. Might help me do some automation later on. And then I grabbed some iron ingots that I smelted. I started off just a chest plate and a helmet. Definitely gonna help me just survive a couple nights. And I also made an iron sword to kill this wandering trader because a free lead is a free lead. Next, I just went right back down to the mines and found all kinds of things like this prosperity ore from mystical agriculture, appetite ore from the thermal mod, and inferium ore, which will be super crucial later on. And I made some furnaces to smelt up all of that goodies that I had just mined. After that, I needed more storage, so I made a specific ores chest and then killed some fish because the fish were honestly gonna give me some food right now. And you can see all of my crops started growing. This was really nice and kind of fun to see all the different mods. I ate some broccoli to replenish myself and made an iron knife fillet so I could fillet all this fish and cook it up for some early game food. Here I made a farming chest where I would store all of my seeds and crops. And then I finished off my full iron armor set. I went back in the caves and found some gold, coal, and other cool ores. And I made two iron hoes because I was about to do major farming. As much of a joke as it is, I'm going to make lots and lots of farmland. So this is just the beginning. As I plant down these last seeds, I was really happy with all the progress I had done this episode. And that's going to be it. Look out for more farm craft coming in the near future.